What's up guys, welcome back to Tale of Mado Taku. Reaction day continues as we do another RDC World 1 video. This one, this one's older, because when this one came out, my laptop actually went kaput, so I didn't have it for like a month. So this one's pretty old, I think it's like the, it, October 29th they uploaded this video, and I'm just now doing it, and it's almost the New Year's, but um, yeah, this is uh, Anime Court Naruto vs Dragon Ball Z, and to be completely honest with you, I have never asked myself this question. So I'm gonna listen to these arguments that these guys are gonna have for Naruto or Dragon Ball Z, and after that, I'm gonna tell you what my personal opinion is after this video. But um, yeah, also if you, you hear like stuff in the background, that's like my heater. It's like cold as balls outside. It's like negative. I think it's like negative 27 outside right now. So yeah, I got my heater on. Yeah, but without further ado, let's hop into this. Naruto or Dragon Ball Z? Not one nigga can answer that question without arguing. It's impossible. If you watch both of them shows, you cannot just answer that question right off the bat without hard deliberation, nigga. That... <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, I'm gonna have to go with, I'm, I'm not even playing. Especially if you ask a group of niggas, that's an argument right off the bat. I'm telling you, if you ask a nigga Naruto or Dragon Ball Z, it's an argument if it's, if it's more than one nigga right there. I'm gonna just show y'all, y'all think I'm playing. Hey, y'all, uh, hey, y'all, uh, yeah, hey, yeah. Uh, Naruto or Dragon Ball Z? Naruto or Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. No, hold on. Naruto or Dragon Ball Z? Is he the only one there for 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 DBZ? Oh my god. All rise for Judge Harris. <laughs> got the gold chain. I guess, I guess he ain't got no no stake in the matter. He got no opinion. So he's just like Alright, so today we'll be discussing the case of Naruto. He got a real life ham. <laughs> Each of you will have one minute to plead your case, and we're going to start with story. Let's begin. Okay. All right, so I guess we'll first. Uh, we only got a minute, so I'll make this quick. Then. All right. This is lit. So I like this. So our first point is uh, storyline. And as we all know, Dragon Ball Z storyline is weak. For lack of a better term. Naruto's storyline is very intricate. Why, Your Honor? Because who would have known that Madara was not even going to be the last villain? Spoiler alert. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, not even that. Who would have known that the owner of Chaco would have came out and had to fight everybody on Naruto? Now, I understand that that twist wasn't the best twist, but it was still a great twist. <laughs> it was trash. Okay? Nonetheless. Also in Naruto's storyline, lots of things happen. Lots of twists and turns. People die. Main people die and do not come back. Something that Dragon Ball Z always lacks because emotion. It lacks emotion because every time somebody dies with Dragon Ball Z, they'll get the fucking Dragon Balls. Trash. It's true. <laughs> that That is true. Yeah. And uh, that's my time. I like the Space Jam shirt. Yeah. Okay, while I do agree with you to some extent, Naruto does have an amazing story. We all know that. But to call Dragon Ball Z's story weak in comparison? Nonsense. Okay, I'll, let's start like this. Dragon Ball Z is home to some of the most emotional scenes in anime history, so I don't know why you would even say that. Two of those being 
when Goku turns Super Saiyan 1 against uh, Freeze on Nami, and when Gohan turns Super Saiyan 2 against Cell. I with agree with that. Okay, okay. That's nice, that's nice. And also, yeah. you seem to uh, say that Naruto has story and Dragon Ball Z doesn't, but you, you're, you're forgetting Dragon Ball. That's where the story originated. That's where we learned the origin of Goku and all of his friends. Too bad we're talking about Z. But it's a trilogy. And there's, and there's, okay, you had to turn. And there's one major flaw that you forgot as well. You had to turn. And that's the fillers in Naruto, which took up 40% of the show. Is it a trilogy? And that's all I have to say. Okay. What about GT? Move on. Super Saiyan. Boruto. 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 Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. All right, that's enough. Your time is up. Next, we'll be discussing character development. Or I'll take it. I think I think Naruto got that easily. Naruto has outstanding character development. Everybody in Naruto has character development. Let me give you an example. Well, he's not an example, but Sasuke, you know, he just has talent. He just brought on talent. He always gonna be powerful. But Naruto, he teaches you that if you outwork your opponent, you can get to his level. He trained for with Jirai for two years, and now he's up there with you know Sasuke. And Lee did the same thing. Lee did the same thing. So. Now he's up there with Neji. And now I'm just reaching out to y'all. If anybody hasn't seen Naruto or anything, and you, and you have a goal in your life that you need to go, and uh, you need to, uh, you don't think that you can outwork your opponent to get there, watch Naruto, and I bet you you can be inspired to do that. Thank you. I rest my case. Okay. What you, what you got, DBZ? What you got? What my friend Desmond was talking about wasn't character development. It was just characters getting stronger throughout the show. What's real kind of character development is Vegeta changing his whole outlook on the show. Oh. He went from a firefly antagonist to a family man trying to fight for Earth. He, at the end of the show, he, he swallowed his pride and said Goku was uh, stronger than him. At the beginning of the show, Vegeta would have never done that. Oh. But as the show, he's got you there. It developed. Another, uh, his character developed. Another example is Gohan. Completely different character from what he was when he was a teenager or when he was a kid. But Rock Lee, he's still the same character. At the beginning of the show, hardworking, one track minded. End of the show, hardworking, one track minded. Same with uh, Naruto. Yeah. Same with Naruto. How? Naruto has the most character development. He went from being a hyper knucklehead ninja to a smart ninja being able to defeat strong enemies like the third Raikage. Stop it. Stop. His fighting skills developed. His brain developed. Nigga got taller. He developed. <laughs> Get out of here with that. He got taller. Okay. Order, order. He developed. Get out of here. Yeah. Let's move over to the category of fighting. Fighting. All right, so fighting, a lot of people would, right off the bat, say that I don't Dragon know. Ball Z takes the fighting. I beg to differ. Dragon Ball Z uses a lot of fight scenes over and over again. They just show you the same clip in a different angle and then claim it's a different fight scene. It's not. Naruto never does that. They use different fight scenes every time, and people fight differently on Naruto. Uh, Shikamaru uses his shadow uh, strangle jutsu to fight most of the time. His shadow to fight people. Yeah. Naruto will come at you with straight tie jutsu, you know, with hands. You know what I'm saying? Naruto versus Sasuke. Last fight. Roll the clip. They That's was straight throwing hands. For you right there, right? Rock Lee versus Gar. That's straight tie jutsu and an iconic moment of Naruto. Also, we got things like Kabuto versus Tsunade. That was such a that was a smart fight, and they were using hands. You know, a lot of people don't remember that because that was in the first part of Naruto. Kakashi versus Obito. Very iconic moment. Straight tie jutsu once again. Then we got Hashirama versus Madara. You know, big jutsu being thrown, but still a different type of fighting. Do you understand what I'm saying? Dragon Ball Z, straight hands every time. And I'm not gonna disrespect them. They got some real niggas over there. We got some real niggas too. Kakashi, Itachi, uh, we got Naruto, we got Sasuke. All them niggas real, okay? They got some real niggas too. All right, but I rest my case. Fight. We gonna box. You know what I'm talking about? Talk to me. All right. I do yeah. agree with y'all once again. O okay. Y'all got some cold fights, both in intricate and hand to hand. But when it comes to hand to hand, we all know Dragon Ball Z can be messed with. Goku is top dog no matter what. Goku, Gohan, the, the whole Z fighter. Let me show you an example. Tien. TN versus Napa, can you show the clip? <laughs> That's one arm box. Come on, bro, come on. Majin Vegeta versus Goku. That's hand to hand. And when it comes to intricate, let me tell you.
take y'all back. Y'all, y'all probably ain't seen the Freezer fight in a minute. When Freezer was on Goku, he was underwater. He made three Kamehamehas. And he threw them up one at a time to throw Freezer off. He threw the last one up and came up with it and stole it. He did do that. That's clean. <laughs> When it comes to hand-to-hand -to -hand fighting, you did make a point saying that Dragon Ball Z may have used the same clip, but that's just exaggerating how fast they're moving. You know what I'm saying? They're not humans. We really do this. That's all I gotta say. I give it to Naruto on that one. I, 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 I get that one to Naruto. Okay, okay. Both sides, very valid points. But now we're gonna move on to music. That's DBZ. Hey, hey, hey. DBZ. Now, Naruto music is the GOAT. I'm not going to argue with any of these other shows. Naruto music is the GOAT. A lot of shows do have uh, music that can almost match Naruto's music. But let's think about their theme songs. Let's go ahead and drop Shikamaru's real fast. Niggas can get down to that. Listen to that Shikamaru theme music. Not even just Shikamaru. Can we talk about Orochimaru's theme music in part one? Every time he came in, that music came on because you know some evil shit was about to happen. Quit playing. Okay, and I know that most of y'all not even gonna remember this because y'all niggas don't really watch Naruto like that. Kimi Morrow's theme music. When that shit come on, if you ain't crying, I don't respect you. <laughs> My nigga Kimi Morrow's old. You know what I'm saying? Akatsuki theme music. Now we already know now. Oh. Mostly pain. You already know a nigga about to come through and throw something. Quit playing. Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, wait. Naruto's openings and endings, you can't handle it. They got the best openings and endings. I have to take up more than a minute for that. Cause y'all niggas don't hear me. Opening five, opening nine, part one. Opening three, she blowing. Go listen. Naruto chipping. They got a lot of good openings. Opening one, got niggas live right off the back. Two, you are my friend. Stop it. Four, nigga. Close. They just have more.
given such fine, valid points. But at the end of the day, there has to be a winner. And that means I will have to give the dub to Naruto. Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby! We go, dog! That was dope. I'm not gonna lie, that was super dope. Uh, going in, I was going with Naruto, but I didn't expect him to break it down. Like, story, character development, music, fighting. It, I, it's, it's a thing, like, you can win no matter which one you actually like, no matter which one you prefer, you're going, like, you're going to get inter entertainment. Me, personally, Dragon Ball Z, for me, has gotten over the top too many times, so I, I, I can't do it. I can't watch Super anymore. And Naruto, for me, had way too many fillers, so I was just like, I can't keep doing this. But if you're asking me which show I would rather watch, I would much, I, I would rather watch Naruto because Naruto to me has the better, it has the better story. It has really good character development. It has some good openings. A lot of them are eh, at, at best, but a lot, but there are some that I do jam to. And when it comes to like the fights, they have good fights. They, 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 they do. But however, Dragon Ball Z is the GOAT. But if you're gonna sit there and tell me that Naruto does not have a lot of influence from Dragon Ball Z, you're lying to me and shame on you. But even worse, you're lying to yourself and we can't have that. But as for me, I'm going with Naruto with a slight edge over Dragon Ball Z, you know, and that's just that's that's just my opinion. But that's all I got for you guys this time. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see something else, put that down in the comment section below. Naruto or Dragon Ball Z, which one would you rather watch? Put that down in the comment section down below. If you like me and you like what I do here, don't hesitate to subscribe, join the squad. Go go check out RDC World 1. They have a lot of different a lot of different variety of, of uh, videos to choose from and enjoy. I guarantee you, you will be entertained by at least 17 of them. But until the next video, guys, peace out.